Hi viewers, this is Yes Swami, Assistant Professor of Zoology. Today we are going to discuss gastrointestinal hormones and their role in the regulation of digestion. As we know, there are endocrine glands in our body and these endocrine glands secrete hormones. These hormones due to the lack of specific transport channels, they mix up with the circulatory fluids like the blood and they reach their target organs. Target organs. Now in the gastrointestinal tract, that is in the alimentary canal, the, endo, the endocrine cells, they will be distributed all over the length of the alimentary canal and they tend to secrete some hormones by which the regulation of digestion taking place. That is, in general, all the endocrine cells, they fuse to form endocrine glands and the secret hormones. But in the case of gastrointestinal tract, the, uh, the cells which secrete the hormones, the endocrine cells, they may be distributed all over the length of the alimentary canal and they produce the hormones. They take care of the regulation of digestion. Now, there are various gastrointestinal hormones like gastrin, cholecystokinin, secretin, gastric inhibitory polypeptide GIP, vasoactive intestinal polypeptide VIP, enteroglucagon, glycentin, motilin, pancreatic polypeptide, ghrelin, somatostatin and these all are the various gastrointestinal hormones. They are produced by endocrine cells which are distributed along the length of the alimentary canal and basically these are peptides with the 4 to 13 amino acids. The length of the peptide chain may be 4 to 13 amino acids. So, these all are the gastrointestinal hormones. Now, what are the functions of the gastrointestinal hormones? So, very uh, few functions. First and foremost one is the, they pushes the food to the site of digestion. They pushes the food to the site of the digestion. Then, they create such an environment where an appropriate digestion takes place with particular enzymes and salts along with the appropriate pH. They create an environment for the appropriate digestion. Environment in the sense that may be the enzymes, otherwise the salts are the pH of the alimentary canal. And the third one is the, they facilitate easy absorption of the digested food. After the completion of digestion, the absorption may be get easier by the presence of gastrointestinal hormones. Of about all these hormones, they lengthen of about 4 to 13 amino acids in length. Based upon the arrangement of the amino acids, the gastrointestinal hormones, they are divided into two families, namely gastrin family and the secretin family. Apart from the gastrin family, there are two hormones, they are gastrin and cholecystokinin. Whereas from the secretin family, there are hormones like secretin, gastrointestinal polypeptide, gastroinhibitory polypeptide and VIP, vasoactive intestinal polypeptide 
glycentin and enteroglucagon these all are the hormones which are included under secretin family that is all the gastrointestinal hormones they lengthen of about 3 to 14 amino acids in length based upon the arrangement of the amino acids they are given to two families namely gastrin family and the secretin family and their respective examples see one by one first one is the gastrin hormone it is basically produced by g cells of the g endocrine cells of the stomach integument g endocrine cells of the stomach integument and the secretion of the gastrin hormone is stimulated by induced by acid chyme as and when the food material reaches from esophagus into the stomach the hcl which is produced by the chief cells that mixed up with the uh, food material and the acid chyme which is present inside the stomach walls stomach that in uh, induces the secretion of the gastrin and the functions are enhances the hcl production increases movements of the stomach stimulates the secretion of gastric mucosa see here first function hcl production as in when the production is more hcl production is more what happens it is there is every possibility to cause damage to the walls of the stomach so that also stimulates the secretion of gastric mucosa and thereby to protect the stomach walls then contraction of cardiac sphincter so this is the esophagus and this is the stomach and here we will see in between the connection of the esophagus where actually it is open into the stomach here we have cardiac sphincter so this is a cardiac stomach fundic stomach and the pyloric stomach and here there is a pyloric sphincter so here it makes the contraction of the cardiac sphincter it makes the contraction of the cardiac sphincter and relaxation of the pyloric sphincter relaxation of the pyloric sphincter and not only that too and there is a relaxation of ileocecal sphincter ileocecal sphincter that is the sphincter which is present in between ileum and cecum ileum and cecum these are the functions of the gastrin hormone then come to the somatostatin hormone this is produced by d cells of gastric mucosal membrane and the main function is it inhibits the gastrin secretion it is almost all antagonistic to the gastrin somatostatin is the hormone which is inhibiting the secretion of gastrin hormone you should remember that then coming to the secretin hormone this is the hormone which is found for the first time in the history of the endocrinology it is produced by the small intestine there are certain cells follicles which are known as the leberkun follicles and in the leberkun follicles we find out s endocrine cells s type endocrine cells they secrete the secretin they produce the secretin and the same acid chyme that induces the production of secretin and see the functions stimulate the pancreas to produce bicarbonate ions and inhibits the hcl production in the stomach inhibits the hcl production in the stomach and the secretin hormone is highly useful for the growth and development of the pancreas growth and development of the pancreas get enhanced and thereby enhances the effect of cholecystokinin and speed up the release of bile juice from the hepatic cells of the liver these are the functions of the secretin hormone come to the next one cholecystokinin hormone cck it is produced by endocrine cells of the small intestine then 
the food which is enriched with the amino acids fatty acids triglycerides that kind of food induces the secretion of cholecystokinin and the functions are it enhances the pancreatic juice production and helpful in the opening of sphincter of od that is the sphincter which is present in between the small intestine and as well as the uh, bile duct and come to the third one contraction of the gall bladder fourth one stops the secretion of secretin and loss of appetite appetite means hungriness loss of appetite they do not feel any kind of hungriness right these are the functions of the cholecystokinin then gastric inhibitory polypeptide this is produced by endocrine cells of the small intestine endocrine cells of the small intestine and the food which is enriched with lipids fatty acids glucose that induces the gip production gip secretion the functions are make release of insulin from beta cells of the pancreas inhibits the movements and secretions of the stomach stimulates the lipogenesis or lipogenesis that is conversion of fats uh, conversion of fatty acids into the lipids and enhances the utilization of glucose in the skeletal muscles these are the functions performed by gastric inhibitory polypeptide gip then come to the next hormone vasoactive intestinal polypeptide vasoactive intestinal peptide it is produced by endocrine cells of the small intestine acidicam induces the vasoactive intestinal peptide secretion functions are enhances the buffer secretions inhibits the gastric secretion and dilation of capillaries of small intestine dilation of capillaries vasoactive intestinal peptide itself vasoactive means it always dilates the capillaries of small intestine so these are the functions of the vasoactive intestinal peptide vip then come to the next hormone ghrelin this is the peptide hormone produced by stomach it is produced by stomach and the functions are enhances the appetite and causes the hungriness then stimulates the secretion of growth hormone somatotrophic hormone secretion is stimulated and this hormone secreted more prior to the meal and less after the meal so there is a difference of the secretion of hormone before meal and after meal this is the specialty of the ghrelin hormone and the motilin hormone this is produced by intestinal mucosa and the functions are contraction of the smooth muscles of stomach and small intestine and stimulates the secretion of hcl and pepsin from the gastric mucosa stimulates the secretion of hcl and pepsin from the gastric mucosa so here although it is produced from the intestinal mucosa it makes contraction of muscles of stomach stimulate the secretion of hcl pepsin in the stomach this is the motilin hormone and its functions so there are another hormones other hormones which are produced by various endocrine cells of the alimentary canal namely pancreatic peptide enteroglucagon glycentin substance p neurotensin and encephalins these all are the other hormones which play a role in the regulation of digestion so these all are the hormones and they play a major role all the gastrointestinal hormones they play a major role in the regulation of digestion by uh, stimulating or decreasing the secretions and increasing decreasing the ph 
and providing the enough uh, appropriate environment for the digestion and some of them they enhances the absorption so like that in various ways each and every hormone plays a role in the digestion and its regulation thank you thank you one and all